the reason why we can't tell if they have the same range of emotions as us is simply because we don't have the, I guess, technology to determine. I think if we would improve our technology, we would be able to, right. we would realize that mammals have the same range. Okay, anyone else? Can you teach an old dog new tricks? Yes, you can teach an old dog new tricks because dogs, they are a living being and when they are old, unlike younger dogs, they might actually be better. Yes, you can teach an old dog new tricks, but it would be really hard. Is the human mind limitless? What do you think? Absolutely, the human mind is limitless. A hundred years ago, there was no internet. Almost nobody owned a car. It, it took, you know, in order to send a message to someone in another country, you had to send a, a letter that would take a week to arrive. Today, we're all together in a virtual fortress on the internet and we can communicate with people in all any continent instantaneously who knows where we'll be a hundred years from now and it's all because our minds are getting better and better and better and better and there's never going to stop you think that we're going to reach some kind of age where we are doing things like levitating and reading each other's minds and getting to a higher um capability of, of what we can all do collectively Absolutely. I mean, I, that sounds ridiculous to us today that we would reach that point. But a hundred years ago, it would have sounded ridiculous that we would have been able to go into a virtual space and talk with anyone around the world instantaneously. So I think absolutely, there's just never going to be a limit. We can, if we want to achieve it, it can take a long time, but we'll get there. Okay. Thanks, sir. Next up, should parents be able to genetically design their children? Okay, what do you think about this one? Ladies and gentlemen, of course aliens are real. I mean, is this even a question, right? If you've been to a, like a basic science class, you'd realize that there are infinite, you know, possibilities out there in space, and there's billions and billions of stars, billions and trillions of galaxies. I think, you know, it would be quite ignorant to believe that there were no other forms of life out there. Um, but even if you were to look at aliens specifically as a defi definition, I would say aliens would be defined as something not human, or I guess known to us i think there are aliens even in this our own world ours i think we've only explored a very small margin of the actual sea itself i think once we discover new species i think it would be fair to call them aliens you're getting some love from the audience this job and i think you're right it would be fair to call alien species aliens and and to them we would be aliens Yes, it may be kind of convenient if everyone could speak the same language and communicate to everyone easily. However, the diversity of languages in on Earth is something that is so important and so special uh, to like our planet that we can't really take away because just because English would make everything much easier, um, this would also take away lots of people's you know, culture. I, and I can't. This, uh, wouldn't you agree that languages are already diminishing? So to make English the only language would sort of just yes. The yes, however, because eventually. they're already diminishing, this is a better reason for us to continue to value these languages more and to preserve these languages instead of diminishing them completely. This shows how much these language, like we actually rely on these You're languages right. because since they're uh, diminishing, we see the importance of them, but you would disagree. Well, what's wrong with making our lives easier? Aren't we always moving in the direction of making everything simpler and easier? So why shouldn't we communicate easier and simpler? And wouldn't it be a great thing if we all understood each other? Wouldn't that be a huge stride in the right direction? Yes, I do agree that this would make our lives much easier and this would um, benefit like communication all around the world. However, just because it is easier doesn't mean we have to do something all the time. Well, I don't see why English specifically would create a better society. Okay, the it's question <laughs> is, does everyone deserve a second chance? Sterling? I've fallen off the stage. Absolutely everyone deserves a second chance, because everyone makes mistakes. There's not a person alive who hasn't done something that they regret later on. There's not a person alive who hasn't tried to do their best, yet not succeeded. And if we never gave anyone a second chance, then a whole bunch of good, decent people who tried to do the right thing and tried to do their best would still be given no second chance, would be cast off to the side and given punishment. And that's no way to build a, a civilized society. So I think absolutely I, give everyone a second chance. I agree. I think giving second chances is not really setting up a good precedent for your life. And I mean, all throughout your life, uh, as a doctor, are they given second chances if a patient, if they stab them incorrectly? I think giving second chances is sort of a way babying out of things. I mean, maybe as you're growing up, you could give second chances, 
everyone, including adults, so they've fully, you know, gone through education, fully grown up. Do they deserve a second chance? I don't think so. 